All praises and glory to Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai Bahasham Ha Raka Kodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders which rule great millstone well. And Shalom to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. May you endure unto the end. Shalom Wa Ababa. This is Second Ezra 9, verse 1. He answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs pass which I have told thee before, which this is an angel telling Ezra about the judgment to come in the last days, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein thy highest the highest Yahweh Baasham Yahushai will begin to visit the world which he made. Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High Yahweh spake those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For like as all that is made in the world hath a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. So just like all the uh, kingdoms before America, they died. They were conquered and, you know, dust now. Well, America is about to be destroyed by 200 million nuclear missiles at the return of Yahweh Shai. After they make the implantable micro CHIP mandatory for buying and selling. Alright, and these prophecies are kicking off like popcorn. Alright, so it says, Even so, the times also of the highest Yahweh have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful works and endings and effects and signs. So you're going to have a an alien invasion, which is going to be of so-called UFOs and the so-called aliens are going to be angelic black men. All right, being led by Yahweh Shai, which he's the lion of the tribe of Judah. He's the king of kings and lord of lords, Yahweh Shai. And he's described as a so-called black man. All right, and, and that's when it's going to end is when he returns and saves his elect and punish them that oppress them, which he's going to give the heathen to the Israelite in slavery. All right, that's what's happening. We're at the end of the age of the so-called white race, which rule the world in wickedness. They are losing power, forfeiting their throne through their wicked deeds, and Israel, the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American Indian, the biblical Hebrew Israelite, who's been scattered throughout the world in slavery, all right, they're gaining power through faith, all right, being moved by the Holy Spirit to prophesy using the words of the Holy Scriptures to get the point across that Yahweh Shai is going to return, and also they sigh and cry, Right, complaining about the abominations that is committed amongst our people, Jerusalem. All right, being under the wicked. All right, he has the woman ruling over the man. He has them in homosexual acts. He has them aborting their babies. He has them uh, mutilating their bodies. He has them selling their souls for for worthless fiat currencies. And false dreams, right? He has them being tortured in his prison, you know, in his prison system, raping each other, all right? So the wicked, the devil, is ruling the world, the so-called white race, which he's really a red devil, for like as all that is made in the world had a beginning and an end, and the end is ma manifest. So that's why all these events are happening, like it said in the verse 6 at the end, and endings in effects and signs, which is the end of the so-called white race, 
but it's the beginning of the Israelite. All right? It says in verse 7, And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed, shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders, for I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. See, the said perils is Jacob's trouble, all right, to the nuclear destruction of all them that are in America that took that device, the MOTB, the implantable micro CHIP, which they're going to make mandatory for buying and selling. You will be in a lake of fire, America will be turned into a lake of fire with millions of nuclear missiles detonating in the land of America because of its allies betraying it because Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai control the hearts of men and he's going to turn them against each other. The America, the European Union, they're going to uh, join themselves with Russia just like all these other heathen nations are joining themselves with Russia, the European Union are going to cut ties with America and join themselves with Russia. But you got to remember that these Edomites, these red devils, right? They're 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 original, uh, they're the original gangster. So what they're going to do is they're going to pretty much eliminate America. That's why they're opening, you know, up to immigration so heavily because the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American Indian of North and South America and the Caribbean, all right, are the Israelites. So he's bringing them in so that they could be destroyed in Jacob's trouble, all right? And Yahweh Hashem Yahusha is controlling this, and we're supposed to be able to see this all act out according to the prophecies. Being a prophet, we should be able to see these things, right? And so I'm going to show you a couple articles that show you that we're living in these last days that the Lord prophesied through angels and through men, which he put that message on the earth through the Israelites, pertaining to the Israelites, that we would go into slavery, but come out of slavery in a great fashion, all right? But now... Here's a heavy article. It says McDonald's temporarily shuts U.S. offices, prepares layoff notices. All right. When you go down here, it says they don't know how many they're going to uh, fire. I read it yesterday. Right there, there it is. It's unclear. It is unclear how many employees will be laid off. And you got to remember this GMO nation, America, Babylon. All right, this is the main cattle feed for these, for these chattel. All right, these Babylonians, they love their McDonald's. And you're going to shut down McDonald's, which they're going to shut it down. To bring it into the new world order, which these places are going to have uh, MOTBs required to either work or also to purchase from them, which it says this in the scriptures. Revelation 13, verse 16. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor. And the he is the elite of the so-called white race, which is being controlled by Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai. All right. Which he, he's been given this technology, the MOTB, the implantable micro CHIP. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And he's going to do that through laws. And that no man might buy or sell. 
See, what do you do at McDonald's? You buy and they sell to you. It says, save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. But you get that by taking that device, the MOTB, the implantable micro CHIP, which they're going to make mandatory for buying and selling. And when you go into this, it says, all right, right here it says, uh, April 2nd, Burger Chain McDonald's Corp is temporarily closing its U.S. offices this week as it prepares to inform corporate employees about its layoffs as part of a broader company restructuring, restructuring, all right, which they're going to make it where you got to have that device, the MOTB, the implantable micro CHIP, which is going to be mandatory for buying and selling because they got that CBDC, right, which they're going to say, they said they're going to be having that fully activated by July, which they've already had a lot of people come out and say that the way that's going to operate is you're going to have to have an implantable micro CHIP implanted in your body for buying and selling. And that's why it's no coincidence you got uh, Elon Musk and um, Amazon owner... Uh, I can't remember the man's name, but you had these big hitters uh, that control the economy and its goods, these uh, Edomites, and they are pushing uh, an implantable micro CHIP, all right? A good example is Elon Musk with his implantable micro CHIP to the forehead through uh, Neuralink. All right, so that's what time we're in. We're in the last days of this wicked ass empire, the so called white man. He's at the, the end of his rule. All right, he's at the end of his life. After this happens, he's only going to have a thousand years of brutal existence in slavery under the Israelites, and then he's going to be made extinct by. The Israelites, which are going to rule the world under righteousness, under Yahweh Ba'asham Yahushai. All right, so there's a restructuring going on, and it's a new world order. All right, and if you ain't down with the program, they'll just eliminate you, which they're going to eliminate you. They're going to kill you, right, by beheading. Or they're going to just pretty much lock you up and throw away the key. They could just cut off all ability of you being able to buy or sell. To pay rent. To do anything in their society. Making you a fugitive. Alright. And they're in the move of doing this. It says Colorado plans drug rehab campus for homeless. Which they're causing a lot of these people to become homeless. With the inflation. Because to bring down inflation, you have to cause high unemployment. And high unemployment leads to high homelessness. All right? So the so-called white race that rule the system, that are controlling the economics, the resources, making the laws, they're doing this in, through their secret societies that control the governments they're planning on making the MOTB, an implantable micro CHIP, mandatory for buying and selling. And if you go against the program, they're going to, as it says, kill you. All right. Which is in Revelation 13, verse 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast, which the image of the beast is the system, their new world order. It said, as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. So they're going to cut your head off, cut your ability off, cut 
you know, true. They're going to do a lot of things to try to persuade you into taking this device, right? Because they're, they're, they're going to deceive you into doing it, using your fear and all these other things against you. And this is why we have to use this time wisely to prepare our souls, all right, to learn to possess our emotions as we operate in this truth because we know we have sat down and con counted the costs that we possibly could be martyrs for the Lord, but that'd be a great honor, you know, to, to receive that lot. But, you know, it, it also would be a great joy to endure into the end. But whether, you know, you, you whether I die or whether I live, you know, it's all unto Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. It says in this article that I was showing Colorado plans drug rehab campus for homeless. It says the state of Colorado has begun planning for new residential recovery center for people experiencing homelessness who are battling addiction. The new center, similar to a facility in Fort Lyon run by Colorado Coalition for the Homeless, is set to open in Watkins in July 2024. At the same time that they're bringing their, you know, their um, CBDC, which is going to be attached to an implantable micro CHIP. All right, which it tells you in the scriptures that they're going to take our home away and make us homeless. Second Ezra 16. And it says. Verse 68. For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you. And they shall take away certain of you, which they're going to arrest some of us, and kill us, all right? It says, and feed you, being idle with things offered unto idols. And they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden under foot. So if, you, if you're given over to your fear... Say you get arrested and they put you in these FEMA camps and they tell you that, you know, you better use why you know, use wise decision and take this device or we're gonna kill your family and this and that. It's better to die. Alright? Death is gain in this situation. It's better to die than to take this device because you're gonna be in a bad situation if you take this device. You're gonna have to suffer the lake of fire. All right, which is the nuclear destruction of America. So it'd be better to die. All right, if the Lord don't save you from this temptation, it would be better to die than to to give in to your emotions, which that's what this devil's going to do. He's going to play on your emotions, right, which those emotions are being brought upon you by uh, um, spirits, right, that this devil, the witch, the so-called white man, has, you know, pretty much called upon through his blood sacrifice, through his uh, eating of human baby flesh, you know, and drinking of the blood and his homosexual activities, you know, he stirred up spirits to come against the righteous. All right. So he got all these people, you know, jabbed up. He's about to have him chipped up. And they're, they're going to come against the elect because we're not going to accept the shit that they have to offer. And verse 69. And they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and reproach and trodden underfoot. So you'll have shame on you if you take their device. So it's better to die. For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. Great insurrection means violence. There's going to be a, ver 
a very violent um, attack on the Israelites. Upon those that fear the Lord, they that, it says, they shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. So they're going to make the brothers of this truth homeless. All right, they're going to go to war against the elect. And look, what's going to happen? They're going to be able to put you in their FEMA camps. All right? It tells you this in the scriptures that this devil plans on putting the hopeful elect in prison. It says in Revelation 2.10, Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. And, you know, I'm not doing the sit down in a fearful spirit. But of a watchman, I'm warning you of what's to come. This is why, you know, we should repent in this time. You know, I'm an Israelite, and I and I and I need repentance every day. And we've been commanded that the ones that are able to understand this truth to go out and teach the truth to the other men that are able to receive it, and to teach them, them that are able to teach to continue this truth, right? So it says, Fear none of those things which thou shalt suffer. Behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. So that's what they're doing here. They're preparing to kill the saints, the Israelites. All right? And really, the saints... The, the sanctified ones, the re, re, um, the ones that are in repentance, all right, because we're the ones that are holding true to the name, all right, we're the ones holding true to what Yahweh has done with his son Yahweh Shai. It says in Revelation three ten, because thou has kept the word of my patience. I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. All right? That hour of temptation is when this devil is going to get the green light from above to make that MOTB, the implantable micro CHIP, mandatory for buying and selling. All right? Which they told you themselves that they were planning on having it in effect by July. Now they're telling you that they're making campuses for homelessness, right? Homelessness, and they're going to have it operating by July. And if you don't take their CBDC, you're going to be homeless. See how this devil works? He's a fork-tongued devil, the so-called white men that rule the world. And that's why the Lord is going to destroy him. Now, which this is all leading into Jacob's trouble, all right, currently, because when they make that device mandatory for buying and selling, that 2nd Ezra 15 is going to be in full effect. It says in 2nd Ezra 15, verse 1, Behold, speak thou in the ears of my people, the Israelites, the words of prophecy which I will put in thy mouth, saith the Lord. Because we use the scripture, all right? The Lord gave us this word. He gave us the spirit of understanding. And he gave us teachers. He's the one that started the apostleship. Excuse me. And caused them to be written in paper, for they are faithful and true. But they are very faithful and true. They're being fulfilled every day. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredulity of them trouble thee that speak against thee. For all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness. Behold, saith the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. So he's going to unleash the so-called white man, which is going to cause a famine. And he's going to bring death and destruction.
All right, and it's because wickedness has fully, completely polluted the whole earth. All right, and it says in verse 10, Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. So the only ones that are separate from this wicked-ass world are the Israelites, the remnant, and the Lord is going to save them because the devil, the so-called white man, he plans on trying to put us to death. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before and will destroy all the land thereof. And he even gives us a timeline in Revelation 6. All right, when this devil starts to kill, it tells you here in Revelation 6, Verse 9, And when he, Yahweh Shai, had opened the fifth seal, I saw under the altar the souls of them that were slain for the word of Yahweh and for the testimony, which is the prophecy of Yahweh Shai, which they held. And they cried with a loud voice, saying, How long, O Lord, holy and true, dost thou not judge and avenge our blood on them? that dwell on the earth and white robes were given unto every one of them and it was said unto them that they should rest yet for a little season until their fellow servants also and their brethren that should be killed as they were should be fulfilled and I beheld when he had opened the sixth seal and lo there was a great earthquake which is going to be caused by that nuclear destruction of America. And the sun became black as sackcloth of hair, and the moon became as blood. And the stars of heaven fell unto the earth, even as a fig tree casteth her untimely figs when she is shaken by a mighty wind, which is that nuclear destruction of America. That's what's coming. All praise and glory to Yahweh Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai. And this is going to come at the return of Yahweh Shai. After they make the device, the MOTB, the implantable micro CHIP, the size of a grain of rice, mandatory for buying and selling, which is going to be an abomination and will be a condemnation to anyone that takes it. Death is better. Than to take that device. Shalom to the hopeful elect. May you endure a Baba Ball.